accountant and a financial aid official. Hi, can I help you? Yes, um, I'd like to get help with the, uh, you know, payment for my classes, uh, some sort of financial aid. The, the problem is I don't know much about it, so I don't really know where to begin. I saw this poster about work-study programs. Can you tell me something about that? Well, I, I think you're talking about the government-sponsored work-study program. It works like this. You work on campus and get paid an hourly wage, just like a regular job. However, instead of getting a paycheck, the money goes directly to your bill for your courses. But almost all work-study jobs pay minimum wage, which is usually pretty low. The truth is, you might do better getting a job off campus, since you can do whatever you want with the money, like paying your rent or, or buying textbooks. Thanks. That's very useful. So, how do I find out what's out there? Let me show you our catalog of various programs, as well as scholarships offered here. That's your best bet, really. If you can find a good scholarship, because you don't have to pay the money back, you might qualify if your grades are good enough, or if you have the right background. Yeah, that sounds like something I should try for. Now, this is my desk copy of the catalog, but I can give you your own copy, if you want. Oh, yeah, be sure to visit the university library, too. There is a whole section on financial aid, including application forms. Why isn't all the information listed in the catalog? It would be so much easier. Oh, if we did that, the catalog would be too heavy to pick up. Civic clubs, foundations, organizations from all over the country offer scholarships or other financial assistance to college students. And all kinds of companies have programs to help their employees' children go to college. If either of your parents works for a large corporation, have them check to see if their companies do that. Okay, good idea. Hey, my dad works for a big accounting firm, and he's a member of a professional accounting organization. Do you think they'd offer financial aid? Yes, that's fairly common, especially if you're planning to go into accounting. What are you studying? What do you plan to do after you graduate? I want to become a dentist. I'm enrolled in the pre-med program for dentistry. Okay, so I'd suggest looking in the library for information on organizations that have to do with dentistry. Any number of them might offer scholarships to students planning to join their profession. I'll definitely investigate that one. Great, but be sure to talk to one of our librarians, too. They get the same questions over and over, so they can save you a great deal of time. Oh my God. So what I got, I got a main idea, employee, key point, employee, employee, key point, employee, key point, employee, key point, employee. Oh my God. So I did not write down P, I wrote down E. Now remember, our goal is not about the answers. It's about how well am I getting in terms of the note taken? Okay, I wrote down the main idea. Now remember, the gist purpose question might be very easy. No, I wouldn't say very easy. Might be easy in this case compared to the last one that we had done. All right, so let's see what we got over here. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Now, remember, the student needs help with paying for his classes. He saw a work-study program, and so uh -huh. he's looking at ways to make money to pay for his classes. Ding, ding, ding. Let's look at A. The procedures for applying for different types of scholarships. B, where the man must go to submit his financial aid application. How students can help pay in their tuition. Or various organizations that offer work-study programs. D. D? I think it's C. Oh. Guess what? Their tuition. Ah, the word tuition. You yes. didn't understand the word tu mm -hmm. tuition. Money, 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 money. Okay. 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 So he went there originally because he needed help with payment classes is what I wrote down tuition and he was seeking financial aid but different ways of make getting the money such as work study etc etc all of which come in that main idea 
C. C, it says how students can help pay their tuition. I wrote down the verb help. And I wrote down after that, payment classes. That is why I wanted to show you how the outlining method of note taking, which I remember I said at the very beginning about the, you know, the webinar and stuff, how this actually helps. So let's see. Let's see. We're going to try different ways of note taking for you too. Okay. But there you go. But we eliminated A, we eliminated B. So we're doing very good right now, Marley. We got 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> we got 50 50 okay we got two choices okay so let's go on to the next one what is the woman's opinion of the work study program <gasps> she said she think is is better uh, uh work in the campus live in the campus and work in no off cam uh, uh, work off campus uh-huh work at <laughs> campus that could be a very important off campus, not on, but off. Okay, let's off, go check answers. Off. Let's check, let's check answers. A, it does not provide as much financial flexibility as a regular job does. It's more on versus off. B, it is more difficult to apply. It should offer more jobs that would appeal to dental students. The problem is dental wasn't mentioned until at the very end. So C is immediately eliminated. Mm -hmm. D, it should allow students to choose where they want to work. Where they want to work. Mm -mm. Allow students to choose. So it's kind of between A and D, isn't it? You're kind of like, uh-oh, A, D. I think is. <laughs> about a much financial flexibility has because he recommend a uh, the regular job for take the money mm -hmm. the distractors 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 mm -hmm. now remember what is her biggest rebuke she said that get job off campus to pay rent and right. get textbooks. So with what I wrote down in that key point is A or D, which one is the best? D. A. Oh my God. It does not provide flexibility. Now check this out. I'm going to develop your inner coach right now, Marley. Why does it not provide flexibility? You want to know why? You want to know why? Because it's a regular job, no? Because it's not a regular job. Because a regular job, he would be able to do what? Pay rent and buy textbooks. The inner coach is you asking a question. Huh. It doesn't provide much flexibility. Why? Because it only pays for your courses. For the bill. Uh -huh, for the it only pays your courses. That's all it does. Zero flexibility. That additional question that you're going to have to ask yourself to answer is what separates you from getting an 18 and a 28. An 18 and a 26. Because my student, her last day before she took the test, I told her the same thing. And she went from a 19 in reading to a 25. Oh. So what I need you to do when you are at that 50-50, please ask the question. It does not provide as much financial flexibility as a regular job does. Why doesn't it provide flexibility? Is it because they only pay for courses? And if he works off campus, he could pay for rent? Boom. That would have gotten you the A instead of the D. Let's keep it going. It's okay, Marley. Today, day numero uno. Numero dia. Or one day, day one. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> why does a woman see? So lists. Lists are basically when 
the professor or whoever it is is speaking says a lot of things back to back to back. I wrote down in my longest sentence was civics, foundations, organizations, companies have programs that help children go to college. Now, remember the key point before that makes you understand the rhetorical question in regards to the why does the woman mention civic clubs? Why does the woman mention civic clubs? Because the student said, why don't you have a catalog? Oh, it will be too heavy. Uh -huh. She say is is more complicated, no? Okay, so let's go find an answer. A, to suggest organizations the man should visit to learn about scholarships? Is it that she's telling him to visit civics or to give some examples of organizations that offer scholarships? To explain why some scholarships are very competitive? <laughs> or to point out that it is appropriate to use scholarship money from multiple sources? Yeah. Immediately, I'm looking at B and D and saying, oh, the, I'm sorry, C and D. And I'm like, fuck no. It's between A and D. So what do you think? D. B? No, what'd you say? It's between A and B, not D. Oh. <laughs> I eliminated D. Oh, yeah, yeah, Marley. I eliminated D. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Love the you. A. A? The A. I think it's B. To give examples, examples, to give examples of organizations that offer, because he says, why don't you have a catalog? It would be too much. Here are the organizations that offer, and there are many of them. Oh, my God. It's okay. Don't worry. We know exactly where you are and where we need to go. That's all that matters. Today is day numero. I am in nine through twenty-five. It's a, it's okay. Today's day numero uno. Once you start asking yourself the question to enable yourself to get better, everything changes. Okay. Number four. Why does the woman ask the student about his career plans? The career. I'm just. Well, he said, "My dad works for an accounting firm. Do you think they would offer him money?" Yes, but what are you studying? Why does the woman ask the student? Yes, but what are you studying? Because his father works for an accounting firm. It may or may not offer him money based on his studies. Ding, ding. She might be able to help him. I'm sorry, help him. <laughs> help him to find a job related to the profession he is pursuing. B, some scholarships are connected to particular fields of study. C, he cannot receive financial aid without a career plan. <laughs> That's very funny. D, she wants to find out which campus. Which campus? Did you write down notes about which campus? So C and D are immediately eliminated. And now we have A and B. So what do you like from A and B? Um, B. Uh, <laughs> because for this reason, she asked about uh -huh, the father. Um, he's working for the work from the father, and he what he going to study. Right. Good. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So well. Marley, not bad. Let's go to the last one. Ooh. 11. Why does I know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why does the woman suggest the student speak to a university librarian? For no more, uh, mm -hmm. because are more complete, there is more organization, more of a. Uh, Okay. 
uh, there are more financials, uh, uh, more information about the financials program and she he can apply it. Excellent memory retainment. All right. See, you're kind of like me. You can exercise a lot of the memory. The things that you just heard 10 minutes ago, you remember a lot of it. That's very fucking good. I realized that I built that muscle up too. Okay, so let's look at A. A librarian might have more time to help. More time? Librarians? Fuck no. B, librarians work hard? Does it say anything about them working hard? C, librarians are trained to help students fill out? No. A librarian could help the student find the information that he's looking for more quickly? What's your best answer? I go more for B. B? Yes. B. Work hard. The library? No. I confuse the, the library. Li the librarian could help. It's our, the people work. Right, right. Home. A librarian, right? And that's the subject of each of the answers. A librarian, librarians, librarians, a librarian. It's the same thing. But we're looking for the function of a librarian. A, it says, might have more time to help. We eliminated it. B, yeah. it's not about them working hard. It's about what they do to help the students. Yeah. It's not about the librarian.